What's up guys? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Smart Programmer. I hope you all are fine. And today I am back with a new video and in this video I am going to create a GUI based dice roller simulator. So uh, without wasting our time, uh, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos and please support my channel. So without any further delay, let's get started. We all know about dice and it is a simple cube which, uh, which has some numbers from 1 to 6 written on its faces as you can see here this is a dice and this is the face of the dice so these are the numbers from 1 to 6 but the question arises that what is simulation why we call it dice rolling simulator so uh, the simulation means that it is a simple computer model so that can roll a dice for us okay guys we will go through the five different steps so working on step number one which is uh, to import the required modules So these are the required modules. So tkinter, uh, we will import this module to uh, use the library of tkinter to make our GUI application. From PIL, import image and image tk. PIL stands for Python Imaging Library. It is important to perform operations on the images we are using in our project. So the third module is random and we will import this random module to generate the random numbers. Okay guys, now we are working on the second step and in this step we uh, we are going to build the main window for our application and where the buttons, the labels and the uh, images will reside. So here we go. And all these are called as the top level widgets. So root is the main object and by using all, uh, the root object we will um, work on the different functions of the TK enter. So dot geometry will set the geometry or the width and the height of the window and dot title will show the title of the window and root dot config or the configure method is used to set the background of the window. So let's run this uh, but it's not working. Why? It is not even giving errors. So, so I want to tell you something here like root dot main loop sorry main loop so without using this root dot main loop our program will not run because so the main loop act as the main function of the program and it is used to open the main window so now as we run the program so here we go so this is the window uh, this is the title and this is the background color and till that we perform these operations on it so let's close the program and move on okay guys now we will work on our third step and in this step we will add uh, labels to our window and this is the code so l0 is uh, called as the blank line label in this program because it is working uh, uh, to get some space between the image and the heading and l1 is used for giving the headings and there we use different functions and root is the name uh, by which we can refer to our main window and text is used to put some text on the window and fg is a background color uh, sorry foreground color and let me show you first so here you can see so this is the foreground color of our uh, label and the background color is the same as the uh, background color of the window and this is the customized font features and l1.pack so the pack function is basically used to arrange all the widgets like labels or buttons or the uh, you know images or other things in row and column and it's also used to pack the widget in the window okay guys in fourth step we will work on the images and here is the code dice is the list of names of images which is kept in the same folder as you can see here die 1 png die 2 png etc so they are in the same folder and which are chosen randomly according to the random number generated we will use the image dot uh, image tk library uh, dot photo image so photo image is the method of image tk and by using this file parameter we will assess the image and this label one is used to place the image in the window as you can see here we refer the main window and we place the image is equals to image 2 and then we pack that label as well so the parameter expands is declared as true which means that if we resize the window the image should remain in the center so let me show you the final output so here we go 
this is the image and uh, the, the name of this image is dice.png here you can see that and we assess this through the photo image method and we place it by using the label and uh, we make it expand true so if i maximize it so it is remain in the center and if i minimize that it will still remain in the center and as you can see so it is in the center so this is the uh, benefit of using this expand parameter okay guys now we are in the final step and this is the fifth step and in this step we will create our main function through which we can roll the dice and we will also build a button so here the code is so this is the same like i have created a variable here image one and image tk as we discussed before dot photo image and here's the difference is created image dot open so we use this open method and then we use the random method dot choice the dice which means that the image should be chosen randomly according to the random number generated from the dice so this dice is the list of images let me show you over here which we defined above so this is dice so from here it can choose randomly any die and uh, how simple and how beautifully it is done in just a single line and again we use the label one to place these images on the window and we use the uh, background of the image uh, the same color of the window and label one dot so again we pack that image uh, on the window and and there is the code of the button there how we can create a button and let me and even more so this is the total code of a button so we use tk into dot button so button is the method and uh, root we refer the main window text is the text on the button so let me show you so this is how our button look like uh, this is the text on the button roll the dice and this is the customized font features like aerial bold and this is the width of our button which is 20 and the height of our button is 2 and background color is this pink or red i don't know and the foreground color is white and what is this what is the command rolling the dice so the rolling dice function this function is the main function of this program and it is executed every time when this button is clicked so how it will performed or executed every time this is attained through this parameter called as command parameter it will link the function with this button whenever the button is clicked so this function will be executed and we will see the output on our main window and button dot pack expand true we again use this expand parameter to even put our button in the center as you can see if we expand the window it is in the center so if we resize the window the button is still in the center we use this main loop at the end of our program and uh, it because it is acting as the main uh, you know method of the program to activate all the functions so let's uh, you know our program is already working and uh, let's roll the dice yes it is working properly alhamdulillah so roll the dice we are getting three and then one and then six and then again six and then again six then two then five then three then four so here uh, this is how our program will work and this is a very simple program uh, it is a gui based dice rolling simulator or a gui based dice rolling game so you can create this within 10 minutes uh, of coding and it's a very good project for the beginners so i hope you like this project and if you liked it please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe button also so support my channel bye for now take care and allah hafiz